Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do this activity. This is the fourth activity of this course, which is course T. I have also uploaded a previous video, so you can always go through it. It's on the introduction. Now, we are going to do debugging. Debugging is a very important skill that is used in coding. So first, why don't you watch this video and do these exercises. These exercises are very easy and we've done them before in the previous courses. Course A, B, C. Today I'm gonna to do the challenges with you people so it will be easier for you. As you can see, I've already made the code here, but I'll be explaining it to you. So don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, my code is completely functional, but now I'll explain it. So first, my first step is move forward. And as you saw that my character move forward, then I've written another move forward right over here. So the character will move forward again, as you can see. Then it will collect the gem 1 as instructed and the gem 2 as instructed. <laughs> Then it will be turning towards its left. It will move forward as it's written over here, then turn left and then move forward again, as you can see. Now it needs to collect the two gems. So that's why I've put the collect code. And it is working. Then it will move forward, then left, then it will move forward three times as it's written in the code right over here one two and three so let's see it one two and three so that part of my code is working then it will be collecting the gems twice as instructed in this activity it's also good if you can get six gems why don't you try a different code and not use mine that way you'll know if you're good at coding or not then it turns right forward left and forward again and then collect <laughs> you can always challenge yourselves to collect eight gems instead of six but six is also good enough now i move to the next one the eighth one is also a hard one so that's why i'll be doing it with you as you can see, right now it looks very easy, just going inside a square. But this time we need to pick three gems here, two gems here, and one gem here. And we need to pick every single one as we there are six in total because three plus two equals to five, and five plus one equals to six. So let's see if it works. And then afterwards, if it works, then I'll explain it. <laughs> so my code is working. Now I'll just show you the steps by going back to the 8th one. So look, as I've written here, it needs to go forward. It's going forward. Then it needs to collect the gem once, twice, and thrice. Then it turns to the left as you, it, it, it does in a normal square. Then it again needs to move forward. And you can always make it turn left over here. Like I can always add left over here and take it out from the last this thing will still work so then it turns uh, collects again collects again like now it's going to follow my previous code as i need to reset and then it goes forward again and in the last i've only written one collect so it won't be collecting more <laughs> it is necessary now why don't you challenge yourself to the ninth quiz and have fun